Part 3 Candy of a Little Cookbook for a Little Girl. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Brielle Hepburn. A Little Cookbook for a Little Girl by Caroline French Benton. Part 3 Candy. Candy. Margaret did not wait till she reached the recipes for candy at the back of her book before she began to make it. She made it all the way along whenever another little girl came to spend the afternoon, or it was such a rainy day that she could not go out. Nearly always she made molasses candy, because it was such fun to pull it, and she used the same rule her mother used when she was a little girl. Molasses Candy two cups new orleans molasses one cup white sugar one tablespoon full butter one tablespoon full vinegar one small teaspoon full soda boil hard twenty minutes stirring all the time and cool in shallow pans if you double the rule you must boil the candy five minutes longer the best thing about this candy is that it does not stick to the fingers if you let it get quite cool before touching it and pull it in small quantities do not put any butter on your fingers but work fast maple wax boil two cups of maple syrup till it hardens when dropped in cold water fill a large pan with fresh snow pack well keep the kettle on the back of the stove where the syrup will be just warm but will not cook and fill a small pitcher with it and pour on the snow a little at a time take it off in small pieces with a fork if there is no snow use a cake of ice peanut brittle make the molasses candy given above and stir in a large cup of shelled peanuts just before taking it from the fire put in shallow buttered pans peppermint drops one cup sugar two tablespoons full of water, three teaspoons full of peppermint essence. Boil the sugar and water till when you drop a little in water, it will make a firm ball in your fingers. Then take it off the fire and stir in the peppermint and carefully drop four drops, one exactly on top of another, on a buttered platter. Do not put these two near together. Popcorn Balls Make half the rule for molasses candy. Pop a milk can full of corn and pour in a little candy while it is hot. Take up all that sticks together and roll in a ball. Then pour in more and so on. Maple fudge. Three cups brown sugar. Two cups maple syrup. One cup of milk. Half cup of water. Butter the size of an egg. One cup English wool meats or hickory nuts. Boil the sugar and maple syrup till you can make it into very soft ball when you drop in water. Only half as hard as you boil molasses candy. Then put in the milk, water, and butter and boil till when you try it in water it makes quite a firm ball in your fingers. Put in the nuts and take it out of the fire at once and stir till it begins to sugar. Spread it quickly on buttered pans and when partially cool, mark in squares with a knife. Chocolate fudge. One cup of milk, one cup of sugar, one pinch of soda, three squares baker's chocolate. Butter the size of an egg. Put the soda in the milk and scrape the chocolate. Mix all together until when you drop a little in water, it will make a ball in your fingers. Take off the fire then and beat until it is as stiff as paste. And then spread on a buttered platter. Sometimes Margaret added a cup of chopped nuts to this rule, putting them in just before she took the fudge off the fire. Cream walnuts, two cups of light brown sugar, two thirds cup of boiling water, 
one small salt spoonful of cream of tartar, one cup chopped walnuts. Boil till the syrup makes a thread, then cool till it begins to thicken and stir in the walnuts and drop in buttered paper. Cream made from confectioner's sugars. Take the white of one egg and measure just as much cold water. Mix the two well and stir stiff with confectioner's sugar. Add a little flavor, vanilla or almond or pistache, and for some candies, color with a tiny speck of fruit paste. This is the beginning of all sorts of cream candy. Candy potatoes. Make the plain white candy just given and to it add a tablespoonful of coconut and flavor with vanilla. Make into little balls rather long than round and with a fork put eyes in them like potato eyes. Roll in cinnamon. These candies are very quickly made and are excellent for little girls parties. Chocolate cream. Make the cream candy in two balls. Melt three squares of baker's chocolate. Put a ball on a little skewer or a fork and dip into the chocolate and lay on buttered paper. Nut candy. Chop a cup of almonds and mix with the cream candy. Make into bars and when cold cut in slices. Walnut creams. Press two walnut halves in small balls of cream candy one on either side. Cream dates. Wash, wipe, and open the dates. Remove the stones and put a small bowl of cream candy in each one. Butterscotch. Three tablespoons full sugar. Three tablespoons full of molasses. Two tablespoons full of water. One tablespoon full of butter. One saltspoon full of soda. Boil all together without stirring till it hardens in water. Then put in a small teaspoonful of vanilla and pour at once on a buttered platter. When hard, break up into squares. Pinache. One cup light brown sugar. One cup cream. One cup walnuts, chopped fine. Butter the size of a walnut. One teaspoonful vanilla. Cook the sugar and cream till it makes a ball in water. Then put in the butter, vanilla, and nuts and beat till creamy and spread on a platter. Betty's Orange Candy Betty was Margaret's particular friend, so this was her favorite rule. Two cups sugar. Juice of one orange. Boil till it hardens in water. And then pull it. Cream dates, figs, and cherries. Make the plain creamy candy as before. Wash the dates well. Open at one side and take out the stones and press it in a ball of candy. Leave the side open. You can sprinkle with granulated sugar if you choose. Cut the figs in small pieces and roll each piece in the cream candy till it is hidden. For the cherries, color the cream candy light pink and make into little balls. On top of each, press a candied cherry. Dates with nuts. Wash and wipe the dates dry and take out the stones. Put half an English walnut in each and press the edges together. Roll in granulated sugar. Small figs may be prepared in the same way. End of part three, candy. Recording by Brielle Hepburn.